as a form of progression. I think Neil Duff deals in victories. 174. See, that's how you set up a 190. The other way. Scott does 60. it with double 19. Yeah, Duff 60. does it with a 54. The result is exactly Game the same. Neil 13 data to break the throw. Neil Duff averaging here 94.35. First things first. It's on for potential 11 data. Game 12 will do, and we are level at 3-3. And this Banks. game has really come up to the boil as we've headed towards its conclusion. We have a crescendo ending in the Thomas first match of the first. day. Game on. No hesitation, straight in, and he wants it done. Double 16, game and Neil Duss over the line, and he kicks off his day with Neil a win. Duff. A 14 data in the deciding leg to beat Thomas Banks, who will remain at the bottom of the table and a lonesome figure at the bottom of the table. But for Neil Duff... He ensures four players are all on 12 points in this group. And it means we are going to have an almighty crescendo to this Champions League Group A. Neil Duff walks back down the stage, a 4-3 victor on the back of a good performance. Two players that will know as well that they're statistically the two best in this Group A. However, when it comes to the end of the day, stats will be irrelevant. The only one that matters is who's got the most points and maybe the better 96. leg difference is Connor Scott. Kicks off the day in perfect style. As soon as he hits that maximum, we just say, here we go again. Oh, early morning disappointment with the bounce out. He almost left the 150. It tells you straight away that Connor Scott is in a relaxed mood because what we're seeing from him is a maybe in recent times a bit of a change of MO where he used to do that all the time. If he's relaxed, you'll see him do it. But if he feels like maybe he just needs to focus in a bit more, he won't go and do that. But he's got up to a good start nonetheless, leaving 110 after nine. And tops after 11. 90. Tommy, you require 170. Is this nothing after 12? Not quite. 100. Can you but this 20. is the fixture of this group. With all due respect to the others, this one has been delivering. Game shot and it gives us a 14 dart start for Sniper Scott. because at one game all, these two have given Tom's us 14 legs on. before that one. Sykes has got to find something just to keep him in his vicinity. And this might be it. Well, he's only getting pops at ton plus out. So it's the 170 in the last leg, which he Game missed, but he gets the, the 109. To square Tom up at 1-1. One, one. So now he's got me thinking, what can he possibly do from 246? That'll 180. do. 180. Tommy, you reckon 112. It's a boring fourth max. And Sykes again is being forced to take out a ton plus checkout. And he Game finds the 112. The These two are hitting Tom each Sykes. other with Haymaker after Haymaker. And it will put him to the top of the table. It will move into 14 points. And that first treble is permanently laid for a second. It's double five. It's Game a superb ending to match. a spectacular contest. And the sniper is firing on all cylinders. Five maximum to 130 checkout and an average of 103. He gets the better with Tom Sykes by four legs to two. He moves to the top of the table and he sends out an emphatic statement to the rest of the field. Even spinnier than a certain ginger-headed dart player who just hit a nine-dart leg who nearly fell over on the hockey because he was so Jimmy excited. Required 24. Hi, Tommy. Two sixes for Vanschke. Doesn't go. And if there has Marvin been Rick one area 16. which there could be room for improvement for Jimmy at times has been his face. He's either hit it first or not hit at all. There's been no in the middle. Game but that's pretty much the in the middle. There. And that's a break of throw Marvin for Van Velsen. Van he leads 1-0. Marvin has changed to a different coloured flight today. It's all red. Just Game like that checkout. Marvin Van Velzen. Two legs, one. Both on double eight. Van Velzen, two, one to the good. And crucially, as well for him, well, he's got Marvin that break of throw, which he needed Game. at some point in the contest. There's going to be a three-way split 
One person leaves, comes back Saturday. Two people go to the evening and three stay in the day. Double 18 for another one against Marvin. And that could be the last Dardy Froze in this 44. contest because Van Velzen looking at 44, leaving it after nine against the throw to secure a 4-1 victory and to join Connor Scott on 14 points. Yes, Tops goes and Marvin match. Van Velzen shows Marvin no Van signs Velzen. of relinquishing in this group pay. He moves on to 14 points and it could well be a battle between him and Connor Scott for top honours in this group pay and for the first place through to Champions Night. It's not a salute today, it's just a thumbs up and he'll be happy enough for that performance. Back to back 13 darters, Connor Scott gets Connor the double Scott. break, he leads 3-0, average of 109.98. This is a special player doing Game special things and it's another match. special play Connor from Connor Scott. It's an average of 111.33, a hat-trick of 13 dart legs. Unlucky for Neil Duff, but delightful for Connor Scott. He moves on to a sweet 16 points in the group, and he's looking as if he's beginning to sweep aside the field. Averaging 108.12 at this present moment in time, and has left himself on 101 after nine. Now, Banks knows that that was an unforced error there. Should have gone down for the 25 to leave himself on the fish. Does it make any difference? 81. As it turns out, it probably did. There it is. The little smile. As if to say, I should have left 170. I didn't. It was my mistake. And I may well just pay the penalty for that. Double 10 for Van Velzen for the break of Frodo 2 0 lead. Game shot in the second. 14 darts, 100.2 the average. But Thomas Banks this week is learning about that next level up. In a the qualification week, he probably could first. get away with moments like that. But when you put him with the big beasts Game and on. the big sharks in the tank, small things become major errors. And typical dart player reaction. When they hit the double they're going for, and they're too busy thinking about the things that haven't worked well in the leg. 56. Must be something about this sport that just trails you between the ears. Four, five, six. What do you get if you turn a six upside down? That's right. You get a nine. Does he get a nine? Another nine. Nobody has done it twice in a series. And Van Velzen isn't going to do it here and now. Incidentally, that second 180 for Van Velzen there was the 100th 180 of the group. 60. Which means we're probably going to get something in the region of 125. 45. That is oh, off the scale. 81. Well, this has been an off-the-scale performance from Van Velzen. It's not quite been the meteoric kites of Connor Scott, but he is doing his own 41. thing, playing at a very high level and has left tops after 12 for a 4-1 win, averaging in excess of 95. 100. Oh, and he required 40. To put himself on 16 alongside Connor Scott. Tops is found for 13 data, and Marvin, Marvin Van, Van Belzen joins Connor Scott on 16 points. He's played two matches and won both matches by a 4-1 scoreline. Jimmy Van Ski and Thomas Banks both beaten by MVP, who's looking to be the MVP come the end of the day. Well, it was a blockbuster performance, an average just under 96, four for me on the doubles and if it wasn't for the work of his rival at the top of the table we would be saying it was spectacular they're all doing something next week double 10 didn't need Game to do it but does it anyway another ton plus check out for Sykes Van Ski on 68 and he has already taken this finish in this match Tom Sykes averaging just under 99, but he may be about to lose this game because Van Schke looking at double 16 to cross the finishing 52. line. And that's as close as it could get Tom without going in. 10. He was trying to bounce it in. 
He almost threw it too hard. One more chance. Chance taken. Shown the sick flag. Oh boy, this Some stuff sucks. is so exciting. Paul Nicholson looks like Seven a kid on Christmas Day about to open up his presents. Game on. Just give me this for Christmas. This one's going to be 4 3. Is it going to be Sykes who wins it? Game yes, shot is the answer. Tom and finally, Sykes. Tom Sykes is on the board. He gets that first win. And that was hard work. He had to come back from behind to get the better of Jimmy Van Ski by four legs of three. A shake of the head from the Yorkshireman as he departs the stage. He might be thinking what might have been even at this early stage. That's how the game went from a statistical viewpoint. An average of just under 94. Four from 11 on the doubles, including another ton plus checkout. The 1 to 8 joined the 109 and 112. We're going to take a short break, and after it, we're going to kickstart round three. Hit he should. Game shot on the Hit he does. Marvin van Velsen. Marvin in required. So Four. smart. Well, this is for the match, and for a third consecutive 4 1 win, Game Marvin van Velsen is the victor match. once more, and Marvin Neil Duff van has Velsen. been hit by a couple of haymakers. Back to back heavy defeats for him, but for that man there, there is reason to smile. He's very much in the equation. He's now top of the group for the first time today. He's on 18 points and he forces Connor Scott to get the better of Jimmy Van Ski after the break. But first things first, this is the tail of the tape for match seven. He's probably only in gear number two. Game and he's still winning. Third, and the worrying Connor thing Scott. for Marvin is that he's winning by a long distance. And his execution may be punished. Two fours. No back score. to back four nil wins. And Connor Scott here is having a bit of a plague time on the doubles. He's missed 10 you know, the outering in this match. But Van Schke has not been able to punish Game up until the there. Jimmy he Van brings Schke. it back to 3-1. It's an effective shootout. Game it's a 4 1 win for Connor Scott. A 13 darter sees him over the line against Jimmy Van Ski. And this incredible day for the sniper continues. He is straight off the stage. He knows he's got business to do. And their next reaction to that is the best possible compliment to someone who misses another 170. You don't look like a dart player. That's a compliment. What's this? Game shot well, that was the different. Third leg, Thomas Banks. But it's an 86 he's going to have to find. It's 32. Game shot and it is very, leg. very pretty. Tom Sykes. Because at times this week, that bed has cost him an awful lot. Himself, he was livid. Game that is a win for Sykes. He gets one opportunity and he takes it. So still has a very faint chance of getting through this group. But he knows that somebody is going to go to 20 points. In with a 4-3 win, will be insurmountable for MVV. And Scott looking to get off to a perfect start, a flying start, a tongue-topping start. A 117 to break the throw of MVV and Connor Scott is three legs away from Champions Leg Night. Connor. You can sense the importance of this game and we are possibly 20 metres away. Maybe a little less. No score. That may be the Connie precursor to Connor saying, I've had enough of this now. That could be the last mistake Van Velsen makes. However, Connor Scott, Game shot up until that leg. point, was missing, but not Connor there. Scott. He's freeing it up. Connor requires 76. He is 76 points away. Tops. Connor Game Scott is the complete package. And Connor the Sniper's Scott. sharpshooting has sealed his place into Champions Night. The bookmaker's favourite, he's going to be there. Connor Scott will play for the Super Series trophy on Saturday evening. I'm not sure whether he 100% knows, but he is there, he is through, and he will be playing in the big night. Very prolific 
maximum hitters here this week. And we do have a prolific finisher in Tom Tom Sykes right there. He doesn't react to darts like that. He's probably thinking, how on earth did that go in? But that one's gone in. It's not another maximum, but it's just as good as one. This to stay in it. Tots for Duff. That, when you consider the pressure he's been put under, is absolutely superb. Tommy required well, if you're disappointed about missing out on Group A glory, he has responded well to the setback here. As he Game fires a double 16 and match. beats Neil Tom Duff Sykes. with an average of 108.26. And the Duff man has been hit with two averages in excess of 105 on the same day. Champions Week is a very, very tough score. Jamie but he cannot fire. It's another misfire. And that should be that as far as this match is concerned. Jimmy Van Ski looking at double four for a comprehensive 4-0 win. Game and to put the seal the on a pretty good Jimmy performance. An average of 16 darts a leg for Van Ski. 93-94. The average. He gets the better of Thomas Banks by four legs to nil. And who knows what that head-to-head could yield when it comes to Friday afternoon in Group C. But for Van Ski, a very, very tidy performance. Marvin to the post for position number two. Well, he's made harder work of it than perhaps he should have in this contest, but he's going to get a dart at Totsu in it, and he only needs the one. And it's going to be P2 for Tom Sykes in Group A at Champions Week. It's been a day of disappointment for Marvin Van Velzen. He harboured real ambition of winning this group. He has ended up third in it. For Tom Sykes, he finishes on a high. Another 4-3 win. Game is pretty much laying up for positions four and five in the group. Let's discuss what we have Whoa, seen in this group A as Van Schke hits his second maximum of this contest. Well, we haven't seen Neil Duff actually no, dress up so. as Duff, man. Which is something that you never know he might do. Just for a few giggles. Jimmy. Whoa, what have you got in mind, big Jimmy? It wouldn't be to finish the deer, but if you finish the leg in the next three darts... 81. Jimmy You'll have a line of people at the door waiting to shake your hand. For the one for one does it go. One dart. At tops. Delivered Game by Duff. And he is going match. to finish Group A fourth position. These two will meet again in Group C on Thursday, Friday afternoon. Duff takes the bracket right there. The pair will return tomorrow and Friday afternoon for their place into Champions Night on Saturday evening. That dots the I's and crosses the T's as far as Group A is concerned.